Hello, I am Dr. Amit Vaish, Dermatologist, New Delhi. Welcome to Health Dialogues. Acne, pimples, funsia, dane. One of the most commonest problems which we face on a regular basis. It can be seen in any of the age groups, but the most commonest age groups which we see and known is adolescence age or teenage or puberty acne, which is usually uh, 12 to 13 in girls and boys can be even earlier. Sometimes we get to see even early acne in precocious puberty or early puberty. What do we see in this? We see usually whiteheads, blackheads, pimples, pustules, which is pus filled danas, and even deep seated danas called cysts and nodules. Where do we usually see them? The most commonest sites which we see is forehead, cheeks, chest, back upper arms, shoulders. Why do we get more acne in these areas and why do we generally get acne in pubertal age or as well as uh, adolescence age? The basic concept of acne is blockage of our sebaceous glands with lots of oil and dead skin material. Blo inflammation of the hair follicle and even growth in the bacteria. So, we get mostly acne in these areas because there's a lot of sebaceous glands on these areas which produce excess of sebum. So when excess of sebum is produced, we get blockage of our sweat glands and produce acne. Now, how do we recognize different categories or different stages or different severity of acne? Starting with the basic we get, which we call openly called white heads, which is closed uh, acne, where with the, you can see it covered with a white top. Once it gets exposed to the air, it becomes a blackhead, but it is still blocked. When we see a red uh, swelling with a blockage and it's inflamed, it's mostly a papule, which we call mostly pimple. When the pimple gets filled with pus, it becomes painful, it becomes a pustule. When the same papule without pus has a deep component, it becomes a nodule. And when the pustule, which becomes larger and more deeper with deeper pus accumulation, it becomes a cyst. Coming to complications of acne. Once the acne is produced and it's healed by topical or oral medications, it leaves different type of scars. In some, it leaves a black or a brown hyperpigmentation. In some of it, it leaves those pit deep ice pick scars. So basically, uh, pigmentation as ice pick scars basically demoralize a child, causes loss of confidence. So we need to control the acne as well as treat the pigmentation and scars to get back the self-confidence of the child. Acne in adolescence. Acne in adolescence basically can be contributed by various factors. The most known and proven fact is androgens. Androgen hormones produced like testosterone and DHT both produce acne in boys and girls after the age of puberty. What do they do? These hormones stimulate the sebaceous glands and cause the increased activity of sebaceous activity and sebum is produced. Depending on the severity, we get the different lesions which I've already spoken about. The second most commonest reasons are like other hormones are like LH, luteinizing hormone, FSH, prolactin, glucocorticoids, which can also cause acne on these areas. But the most commonest hormones in this age group is attributed to androgens. When we get uh, adolescent acne, we just first try to approach them with basic washing of hair and face, giving them basic oral antibiotics and topicals. But when we see the episodes are recurrent, the severity of acne is there. Then only we plan to investigate the young adolescent. What do we do in investigations? For girls, we get an ultrasound done to rule out PCOS or PCOD or polycystic ovarian disease is one of the most commonest causes of acne in girls at this age. 
for both girls and boys, we get the all the hormonal profile like LH, FSH, prolactin, testosterone, DHEAS, insulin levels to find out if any internally the hormonal imbalance is being caused which is producing this acne. We should always get investigated especially when we see an obese child which may be producing uh, these type of hormones in them, excess production of these hormones. So first how to approach an adolescent's acne. Teach the new young generation to wash their hair daily or at least alternate days for a lady with an anti dandruff shampoo mixed with their regular shampoo. Try to wash their face with face wash or soap three to four times a day with a mild soap. If you feel your skin is getting dry, use a mild soap or a face wash. But do use a washing of face with soap and face wash. Not only water wash cannot help us to clean our pores. We should avoid excess application of oil on the head. What does oil do? Oil causes blockage of all our sebaceous glands of our hair follicles and the oil gets clogged. The skin cells get clogged in these glands, in these hair follicles and produce acne even in the scalp, producing very painful funcia or pustules in the scalp. So we should avoid oil application on the hair and skin, so definitely we should avoid oil application. If you actually really wish to put oil on your head, you can put it maximum 15 to 20 minutes before head wash, but never after head wash and never, never overnight. Now, next coming to after all the investigations are done, if there's any hormonal imbalance, first of all, how to advise the children about diet. There is no diet restriction specific for acne, but High carb diets, high oil or starch diets have been related to aggravation of androgens which in turn stimulates the sebaceous glands. So high protein diet, good uh, vegetables and fruits are always recommended for overall general uh, looking after of skin. High starch, high oily foods should be avoided as much as possible. There's a misconception that dairy uh, items cause a lot of acne, okay? If there's a perception that milk is causing acne. So instead of giving, going for a full cream milk, you can always go for a double tone or a skimmed milk. But you should not stop taking intake milk because all, as all of us know, milk is a very good provider of calcium and vitamin D. So we should not totally remove dairy from our uh, daily use. We should modify and use it. Another myth has been given that stress causes acne. We can say that again stress causes imbalance of the hormones and in turn can cause acne. So basically diet and stress cannot have a direct relation to acne as such. Now lot of drugs such as especially steroids, both topical creams for whatever reason being applied on the face and oral steroids for any disease can also cause acne in this group or any age group. So coming to the treatment, non-specific and generalized treatment for adolescent acne. As I already discussed, hair wash daily or at least alternate days, four times a day face wash is must and a touch of moisturizer even in summers will keep a skin moist and nice. We get the, if we have a doubt of hormonal imbalance, we get the ultrasound in girls and all the blood investigation in both girls and boys to rule out any hormonal imbalance. And we have a severe doubt of any tumors, then definitely CCT and MRI will be a great help and even our ultrasound can help us. Coming to the treatment. First, we start with the basic topical antibiotic creams and gels. If the patient says they're not responding at all, or if you have pustules or cysts, we need oral antibiotics, but try and avoid tetracycline group of antibiotics even for this age group. Try to stick to erythromycin or basic azithromycin will be sufficient for this. If the child still does not respond to these two, we can still try oral retinoids. 
and if the person has proven hormonal changes then oral contraceptive pills or other hormonal tablets can be prescribed only by a gynecologist or an endocrinologist so this way we can step by step approach adolescent acne first by analyzing the the child taking a good history of his his or her dietary and any hormonal changes like irregular periods increase of weight blackening of neck sudden gain of weight having red color stretch marks these are all signs of hormonal imbalance in both girls and boys then we first start with basic treatment if you are not satisfied we go for investigation then go for higher treatments so adolescent acne pubertal acne teen acne should be approached in a very systematic manner and controlled thank you never miss a medical update from medical dialogues like subscribe and press the bell icon